You are here with uh, College Station Theaters. College Station, that's right. Oh, my God. Okay, so this has, let's first and foremost, College Station Theaters. Yes. Where is it? What is it? Obviously, theater's in the name, but. Yeah, well, it is a, it's a first-run movie theater. It is on College Street, right where the old Hollywood used to be, right exactly there. It's in that, it's the exact same building. Uh, structurally, anyway, we're doing a lot of changes inside, a lot of changes in the auditoriums. Uh, yeah, 415 West College. Wow. Okay, so obviously was the former theater that was there, was mm. it defunct or, like, how did you acquire the, well, the theater? so the people who built the building, mm -hmm. they still own the building. They let Hollywood come in and run it, which is a chain mm -hmm. company, right, and then right. Regal took over for them. Okay. And then Regal had their own COVID financial mm. problems, and, and uh -huh. it went away. Uh, and so we came back in completely independent this time with no large overhead uh, to open up a really big, awesome, independent, locally owned Springfield Theater. That's oh, that is, so you're kind of like a founding father of well, this, would you say? I'm kind of on the founding, like there's people who founded it above me. <laughs> okay, I, okay. I get to, I get to play on the, on the base floor. Yeah. Okay, so what, like what kind of movies are you going to be showing? Like what all can you do at College Station? Well, we can do a lot because we're independent, so we don't have a lot of overheads, not a lot of red tape to get through. Oh, okay. So there, there are rules that exist, but, but we could, we get to play in that a lot. So we're going to be a first run theater. So all the brand new movies that come out on the 22nd when we open up, we'll have Red One, which, have, which have, would, have, would have came out the week before. Okay. Remember with Gladiator 2 and Wicked okay. and then Moana 2. So all those big first run That's movies. Awesome. But we also want to make sure that the Hollywood or the uh, the holiday films, uh, we'll get a chance to show those. We get to do the retro screenings as well. Mm -hmm. So we get to kind of... So fun. We get to play around. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. It sounds like it's like just the independence of it and being able to do that. Mm -hmm. So do you have multiple screens? We do have multiple okay. screens, yeah. So we're still a, a, a 14 auditorium theater, but we're opening up 10 of them because we're playing with some ideas oh, on the wow. other four. Okay. But we're opening up 10, um, but there's still uh, a lot of seats in there. We're, okay. For recliners, we have auditoriums that are, that are 150 seats deep. And these are PLF, so premium large format screens okay. that are going to have laser projectors. The only laser projectors in, in town. Oh, wow. So really crisp. Uh, and they're going to have Dolby Atmos sound, which is top of the line sound, the only one, again, in town. So you'll get to have, well, and then your recliners that are heated. Mm -hmm. So you get Ooh, this really, okay. yeah, heated recliners. That's, that's really all I should say. Right. Heated recliners. Boom, done, sold. Yeah. yeah, you're like, hey, I'll show VHS tapes. Exactly, yeah. Recliners, I don't care like what's on the screen. Home yeah. movies. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Who is that guy? Is that Curtis on the yeah. screen? <laughs> oh, Curtis. So we're really aiming at giving just the best in-theater auditorium experience that you can get Yeah. in town, like the top of the line. Okay, now I got to ask because, you know, movies I like to eat and drink when I'm at the movies so yeah. do you offer that is that going to be something maybe that comes later on yeah no we, we do offer it uh, it's gonna be a little different than other places in town so what we're not going to do is serve you at your seat okay but what we are going to do is provide you with premium food okay uh, and a table at your recliner that you can move in front of you if you'd like to use it uh -huh. and so you'll be able to still eat really good food at your seat, but no one's going to be bothering you. You get to really do the cinema thing mm -hmm. for the entirety of the movie and enjoy good food if you want, and or enjoy pineapple whip on your way oh, in because yeah, yeah that's the first brick and mortar pineapple whip is going to be located so with us, uh, and we'll have other local sponsorships to enjoy too, like uh, Coffee Ethic. We're going to do their coffee and other other great ones to come. But yeah, so we'll be able to eat and drink in the theater. Okay. This all sounds so great. So it's local, you know, you're supporting local businesses. Why for you and the other people that were kind of founding this um, theater, um, why was it important to be so in, ingrained in the local community? Well, I think that I love working at movie theaters and I, and I also love to be involved in community events, but the larger the corporation, the, it's just hard to do that. Mm -hmm. It's hard to say, hey, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. Uh, so with going completely local, we're able to really dig in, not only to show the movies that, that locals want to see, right. or to premiere the movies that locals want to premiere, but that we can really uh, do great things and do great partnerships that you wouldn't be able to do if you had a large, a large corporation over you. We can reach out and make sure, like, we don't want IC to come in 
<laughs> for us because we can pineapple whip has created their own slushy for us that's to have so, right. oh that's so, so cool to, you can only get it at our theater yeah so it's it's just great to be able to do that and we well, can all reach out well, it just sounds like you can be so ultra creative, oh, and so which is which so I, great. like that's what you're kind of excited about. That's yeah. fun. It's a, well, just just the partnerships when people can come in and, and enjoy multiple Springfield companies mm -hmm. underneath our roof is something that we're really stoked about doing. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I've asked yet. Is the theater open? When is it opening? If it's not open okay. yet, it's not open yet. Okay. Uh, we will have our grand opening on November twenty second. But it's a huge endeavor. We're going to make that day. But follow us on Facebook to see the updates coming, to see what else. Because we would like to have uh, maybe a soft opening before. Um, and we'll, we'll see how that goes. Okay. But we're, we're moving right along. November 22nd, when Gladiator 2 and Wicked premiere, you should be able mm -hmm. to see them with Dolby Atmos Sound, with our laser projectors, in our heated seats on that day. Boom. All right. Awesome. Perfect. Curtis, always great to see you. Congrats great on you. on the future success. It's oh, going to be a great you. thing. Yeah. <laughs> I love Unscripted, but you guys are doing a great job. Well, thank you. All right, you guys, when we come back, we'll continue our road trip down historic Route 66 with a stop right here in Springfield. Yay.